Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. In today's video, we're not going to talk about the battles or speculate on the dark machinations of the world government. Today, we're going to talk about the more loving side of One Piece. There are many characters that One Piece fans would love to see become a couple, but Oda has not developed any romance in the story thus far, so the Straw Hats, for now, are just friends. Sanji is really an exception on the crew, as it seems like he's falling in love in every other episode. However, in the anime, none of the protagonists have had had what you might call a real romance. We rarely see scenes with kissing happening in One Piece, as the author prefers to keep the story focused on adventures and friendships. However, there have been certain moments in which kissing scenes occur in our story, including some involving the protagonists. In today's video, we're going to talk about all the moments that a kiss between characters could have happened, all the kisses that happened until the moment of this video, and even scenes that look like there may have been a kiss in One Piece that just weren't revealed to us. If you're new to the channel, we really appreciate your help by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel, it really means a lot and motivates us to make new videos. But for now, let's get into the video. So to begin, many One Piece fans have probably imagined couples with the characters presented, especially among the protagonists of the story. And there are several couples that have already been created by fans. But really, none of the crew has ever shown any feelings other than friendship towards these other. As One Piece characters hardly ever show romantic feelings for other characters. But in some specific scenes, there have been kisses between the characters. Kisses in which they may not have a lot of meaning, or even represent a passion that could happen in the future, or at least that's what some of the fans of the story believe. Even though the author of One Piece has already revealed that he does not intend to create a romance in the story, it really doesn't rule out the possibility that he could change his mind in the future. It's even possible that Oda could end up creating couples that have children, and who knows? He may even start a new generation of pirates that can travel in search of all new adventures. Now we know that in many animes this happens. At no point in the story is the manga focused on romance, but at the end of the story, the author decides to form couples between the characters, especially between between the protagonists. So let's talk about some specific moments in which kisses occurred between the characters, remembering that in some cases I'll talk about, some fans might say it happened, but a kiss may not have actually happened. After all, due to camera position at certain moments and the expressions that the characters show, we never really know if it happened. And if this is the case, everyone may have their own interpretation of what happened. So let's talk about each of these scenes. Starting with the first kiss shown in One Piece. It happened during the story of Thriller Bark, where Luffy and the Straw Hats go to Thriller Bark to defeat Moria and retrieve the shadows that were taken by him. During episode 365, Absalon takes Nami hostage and doesn't let her escape. He then goes on to say that he would marry her, making her his wife. Next, we see him take her to a ceremony where he he said it was going to be their wedding. Now, at a certain moment, Absalon goes towards Nami's face to kiss our favorite navigator, but at the moment he goes to kiss Nami, Hilden appears flying quickly towards Absalon. Now, Hilden was looking to get information from Absalon, but at the time he arrives, Absalon was moving towards Nami to give her a kiss. So Absalon and Hildon's face collide, causing them to kiss accidentally. Now, another kiss that took place during this very same arc, more specifically in episode 367, Lola comes to save Nami from marrying Absalon. Nami, along with Lola, team up and man to defeat Absalon together, and we see that Lola starts kissing Absalon after defeating him. Meanwhile, she tells Nami to run away as she would distract Absalon to give her time to escape and find her companions. But actually, she probably wanted to keep kissing him as she had waited so long for that moment. The next encounter we're going to discuss is a possible kiss that happened during the Dres Rosar. The kiss takes place in episode 632, which takes place before Doflamingo creates his birdcage to destroy the city and crush all the citizens of the city. The scene begins with Sanji chasing after Zoro, who is looking around for his sword that had been stolen. While in pursuit of Zoro, Sanji is suddenly distracted by Violet, who'd been running away from guards that were chasing her. Upon seeing Sanji, she seizes an opportunity to hide from the guards by hugging Sanji, and during that embrace, there could have been a possible kiss. Now, the kiss is quite possible because Sanji's expression is one of surprise, so it could mean that it actually happened. The next kiss that we'll discuss occurred in One Piece episode number 693, when Frankie was in the Smile Factory in Dressrosa. Smiles are artificial devil fruits that have a small percentage of giving powers of the devil fruit to whoever eats it. Now, it may seem worth the gamble, but these fruits come with a much darker side. For those who fail to obtain the fruit's power, lose all emotion except laughter, which means that even if a person was desperately heartbroken, all they could ever do is laugh about it. Worse still, so far, there seems to be no cure for this side effect. But back to our scene, while wandering around the lab, Frankie meets the leader of the smile factory who calls herself Kuin. She starts to fight him, but Frankie just takes the hits, refusing to hit her back. And as he listens, he hears her 
her complain about it. As the fight goes on, Frankie walks towards her and then gives her a kiss and stuns her in the process. Cooing is paralyzed from the shock for a few moments, thinking about what had just happened. And then she parts her lips, drops her weapon, and tells Frankie that he needed to become her boyfriend. Cooing asks several questions as if they're dating now, but Frankie just ignores her because his attention shifts to Mr. Pink, who had just gotten up after getting hit. So Cooing, along with Mr. Pink's fangirls, began to root for Frankie to win the fight. Our next kiss doesn't really happen until the whole Cake Island arc in episode 785. Now see, Luffy had eaten an armored stonefish, which ended up being poisonous, so he got incredibly sick and nearly succumbed to the poison. In this episode, we see Sanji's older sister Raiju appear, and after stating that the poison happens to be her favorite delicacy, she decides to help Luffy. And in the process, she kisses our rubber captain, removing all the poison that was in his body. Now, for those who don't know, through the various genetic enhancements that Raiju received being part of the Germa program, Raiju has the ability to suck poison from people through a kiss, much like a devil fruit ability. She even has the ability to ingest any kind of poison, no matter how dangerous that poison might be. You see, to Raiju, poisons are considered food, and the more poison she ingests, the stronger she gets, because her skill set is based on poisons. And finally, the last kiss presented so far occurred much later in the Whole Cake arc, in episode 871. But the kiss is only revealed to us in 877, where we see how the kiss unfolded in detail. In this scene, we see Sanji talking to Pudding, and while telling her that he was happy she was his fiance, despite having tried to kill him in the past, Pudding starts to cry. You see, Pudding had constantly been insulted by her family because of her appearance. Because she had a third eye on her forehead, she was considered a monster. Now, because of this trauma she endured, Pudding developed something like a split personality, where in one moment she's nice, calm, sweet, and kind, and in the next moment she is perverse, aggressive, evil, and coveting everything around her. But with Sanji, for the first time, she was showed true kindness and compassion, and even love. So then, touched by his words, she takes the cigarette out of Sanji's mouth and kisses him. Unfortunately, this momentary bliss ends in a tragic twist, when Pudding uses her devil fruit to remove the memories of the kiss from Sanji's mind, so he wouldn't remember what happened. Because even if Pudding really loved him, she still had to complete the plan. She had to marry him, and then immediately take the life of Sanji's family. But as we know, her love for Sanji was so great that she wasn't able to take his life. So during the end of the whole Cake Island arc, Pudding went on to help Sanji escape the island. Now, while her kind side said that she wanted to help Sanji at all costs, her other personality wanted to take his life, being in an infinite cycle of which one personality took over her body after the other. But at the end of the arc, we see that Sanji was truly able to change Pudding's heart, and in the end, she truly loved him back. Now, as the scene finishes, we see Sanji and the Straw Hats leaving for Wano, and we see that Pudding has to stay behind. But just as Luffy promised Katakuri that he would one day return to Whole Cake for a rematch, it could also make it possible for Sanji and Pudding to meet again. And with that, these are the kisses that happened during the story of One Piece so far. And the only one that really could end up with a relationship at the end was really Sanji's kiss with Pudding. So who knows what might await them in the future. But there's still a lot more One Piece to go, and we really don't know if Sanji could end up falling in love with somebody else. Or if, in the end, he will declare his love and await his reunion with Pudding. The only thing left for us to do is to wait and see what Oda-sensei has in store for us in the future. But for now, I'd like to know what you think about it. Which couples would you like to see in the One Piece story? Are there any other kisses in the story that we missed? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. We'd also like to thank you so much for watching the video until the end. Comment in any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, if you've made it this far, give us a like as you head out to take on the rest of your day. Hope to see you all in our next video, and let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.